Ramon, why does moisture and oil reduce transformer reliability? Sure. Moisture is one of the main enemies of transformers. First, it negatively affects the dielectric properties of the oil in a transformer, and second, it can cause irreversible damage to the paper insulation. As it accelerates the oxidation process, both things can end up leading to a decrease in the reliable life of the transformer. This is supposed to be the long accepted fact that doubling the moisture containing the transformer can cut its life in half. Okay, so how is moisture in a transformer detected? Moisture is more often detected by uh, taking an oil sample from the transformer and completing a test called CAR feature in our laboratory. This test determines the PPN of water in the transformer and by using the temperature uh, of the oil at the time of the sampling, we can calculate percentage of saturation and this figure tells what content of water is found in the oil in the transformer. Additionally, SD Myers can calculate the moisture by dry weight percentage, which gives an estimated amount of moisture in the solid insulation compared to the oil. Another way to test moisture in the transformer is with a sensor uh, called a moisture meter. These sensors can be installed on the, on, the, on the transformer or are in oil processing rigs that they read temperature and percentage of saturation. Water content can then be calculated from those. Where does moisture come from in the first place? Moisture can exist in transformers in, in similar forms, uh, but it's, it's in a main primary form. Water can be either as dissolved water in the oil or absorbed into the solid insulation. Most of the time, age or oil or a leaking gasket are the moist, uh, moisture problems come from. Where there is a leak, there is an often a moisture problem. Additionally, additionally, the aging insulation can also create moisture as it oxidizes and defects of the manufacturing process can unfortunately create moisture issues from day one. So when do I need to be concerned about moisture levels in my transformer? Since moisture can be uh, tolerated at different levels based on voltage class, it really depends on the size and rating of the transformers. SDMI criteria is based on limits stated in the IEEE standards. What is Drymax and how does it remove moisture from a transformer? SD Meyer has been manufacturing and selling Drymax system for almost two decades. In order to improve the reliability of transformers by removing moisture, Drymax is an online passive transformer drying system that removes moisture while the transformer remains energized. That is very important. This system works over a longer period and therefore able to remove moisture from both the oil and the paper insulation. So what makes Drymax E different and why did we create it? Drymax E is uh, very similar to our standard Drymax system. However, this new version allows for easier and less costly media changing in the field or on the, on the shops. We created because we receive a feedback from our international customers about their needs in an online dryer and we wanted to create a model of Drymax that better serve them, allowing them to dry out their own fleet on their, on their customers' transformers and also uh, a very uh, cheaper way of acquiring uh, the units. What are some of the features and benefits that someone will experience if they purchase a Drymax E? Well, the main goal here is removing moisture uh, from the oil and the paper insulation, which will increase the reliability life of your transformer. Can be installed and removed energized, which removes only required downtime, and makes drying, drying out multiple transformers easier. Easy to replace saturated media in the field or in the shop, lowering costs of operating pump, is still less and magnetically coupled. If someone is interested in Drymax E, what do they need to do? Uh, my information is on the, uh, on the screen. Uh, you can contact me either by email or by my phone number. Mm -hmm.